welcome everyone we're back uh, another new month new market update video uh, I know I was kind of tapped into between doing these bi-weekly um, I promise you since the last video which I believe was on May 5th not much has really changed but we can uh, just highlight a couple things and I'm just gonna keep this quick simple and Bitcoin only uh, to be honest, as of right now, I am mainly only going to be doing videos on Bitcoin Ethereum. If you're in the Telegram macro analysis, uh, technical analysis channel, I might sprinkle some things in there. But for the most part, uh, just where I'm at in life, I'm just really only trading Bitcoin. Um, but I can save you all that life stuff and let's focus on the reason why you're here, which is technical analysis of the corn so in the last video I spoke about having bids in that purple zone right there from 24.3 all the way up to 25 um, I spoke about a take profit area of 47,000 to 50k let's bring this down here I also spoke about a potential head and shoulders uh, I mean it, it, it's tricky because this weekly we came down here to about what's the low of this candle 25,864 we missed the take uh, a buy limit I had a buy limit at 25,447 even though I told you 25,000 I missed it by under 400 bucks I mean sometimes that's the name of the game it was Memorial Day weekend I wasn't really watching uh, that happens you know Ideally, you don't want to see price close below and stay below this WMA 200. I mean, highlighting uh, classical charting above the uh, WMA 200 is the definition of an uptrend. We do have these higher time frame uh, MAs, EMAs as support. There's, there's a lot here, even on the three-day. I mean, we have it in the green box. Ideally long story short you don't want to lose the 200 on the daily you want to see this this bounce so I don't know maybe this uh, WMA comes up here in this purple box and then we touch it down we uh, broke down through the 50 on the daily right retested that as resistance so you know we could come down here. I think it's reasonable still to catch a bid here. You just want to be careful. I mean, we could come down to get these buyers down here. Ideally, I don't want to see that with uh, the DMA 200. But let's see if we have any. We could have a potential uh, divergence forming here on the OBV on the daily. All looks well. Let's see here. I mean, if this were to close here, it probably makes sense to catch the deviation, maybe get another retest on this daily support and resistance zone right here. I mean, you can see this is the line right here. Close below, retest, retest, got some drops. This is the part where it didn't take up our buy limits rejection here close below retest just keep an eyes on this area nothing's really changed um i still have my buys valid in that zone uh 24.3 to 25k um ideally you don't want to lose the dma 200 if you're on the bullish side but with that being said we did have our higher high as long as this holds, I mean, this is all stuff that I went over the last video, and nothing's changed from the course of, what, 27, 26 days? But you want to see this market structure hold, long story short, down here. You don't want to get down here because then we could just uh, be making a potential higher low. 
me just to paint the picture let's say like price comes down here right that's just how I see it you know yeah we made a higher high psych just playing higher low retest of that purple zone going down I mean if we break through this how I'm looking to buy this as support it makes sense to sell that as resistance I mean it's just straightforward TA and honestly I mean I feel like that's it if video wise um, I'll hit the chat up with any updates on pictures with anything we do have some high time frame support here as long as this I mean, pretty much man as long as we're in this the, the, this region this could be consolidation we come down here I'm not too happy from a bull standpoint but um I'm curious to see what happens with this uh, debt ceiling and everything else on a macro level you know but um that's really it. Any questions, reach out. I'm still looking to see if I can snag some entries here in this purple box because we have some high time frame MAs, EMAs as support there too. Um, but yeah, I, I'm still I'm still trying to see if I can uh, get a position in that purple box all the way up to that 47, 50K region. You know, just to give the visual, the visual I mean, some something around here is where I'm looking to what I'm looking to ride. But we'll see. We'll take it day by day. I'll keep the if you like. I said any questions, hit me up. Um, also, while we're here, I'm curious to see. Usually, it's a sell in May and walk and walk away situation. I just wonder if they're going to break some hearts here. But I, I mean, I, I don't want to. I don't want you to take this with a bearish, with a, an extreme bearish grade of salt. But in previous videos, I referenced that like tapping of the glass. How many times do you tap the glass before the glass gets weak and break? We're tapping this glass right here on this WMA two hundred. I would hate to see this as a deviation to ultimately go down, but I mean, the macro analysis, the Bitcoin thesis video, if you go back and watch that, I'm not tooting my own horn. I say it in the most humble way, but it's a phenomenal video breaking breaking down Bitcoin's price history. So, I mean, if, if this were to fail, I'd be, I'd be looking for that. But um, that's really it. Kind of boring. But those are the times to uh, sharpen the knives, you know, do something else. Maybe go outside, enjoy the summer uh, as opposed me, as opposed to being glued on the screen, uh, the chart 24 seven. I've been uh, studying for my security plus certification, uh, you know, just adding tools to the toolbox, tools to the trade. Holla at me. Dicer William. We're out of here.